How's it going folks? John from Harkus Audio and DIY Punk Rock here. Just wanted to make this little video of uh, how to build a groove using our Skate Punk MIDI library in Stephen Slate Drums 5.5. Also to draw your attention to the fact that Stephen Slate Drums now has a free version of SSD 5.5 available on their website which contains three awesome kits which are totally suited to punk rock which is ideal so you can pick up SSD 5.5 free now from their website. I'll show you that quickly and then I'll get into the riffs. So yeah, if you head to the Stephen Slate Drums website, I'll post the link underneath the video so you can just uh, go straight to it. But you'll find the free version here, uh, which I'm using just now. Uh, it's awesome. Basically, you can just click on Try SSD 5.5 and it takes you to their downloader where you can uh, go through all the motions to get it sorted. Um, I believe you'll need an iLock license, but not a physical iLock, so... You can head to iLock.com and create an account there. And basically that's just their way of dealing with their software licensing. So yeah, you can click there. Uh, and also the pack we're using today is our Skate Punk MIDI pack. The Steven Slate Drums 5.5 version, which you can find on our website here. And it goes through kind of bits and pieces, selection of grooves down there. Awesome review from my pal Rob, who uses it. and. Uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So basically, I've written this riff to a click track. It's at 210 beats per minute. It's pretty fast. Typical skate punk kind of riff. Uh, so I'm just going to play the riff and then I'm going to drag some grooves into the, the timeline from our MIDI pack, which are all in this groove section here once it's installed under DIY Punk Rock Skate Punk. Uh, we'll have a listen to the riff first, see what you reckon. Here we go. Cool, so I just got that riff down, it was in my head, thought it was pretty cool uh, and I just want to really quickly get some drums together for it. I kind of know the basics of the, the grooves that I'm looking for in my head due to the rhythms I played on the guitar. Uh, so first of all, I'm just going to head in intro fills and drop in an intro fill. Um, actually in this case, the start's all half time, so I'm just going to go to half time fills and choose one of them just as it's a slower intro. digging that so I'm just going to drag fill 3 onto the timeline and move back to blank space and that brings us right into the track this section here it's got a kind of half time groove I was playing about with this earlier so I kind of know what I'm going for uh, so I'm going to go into the half time beats and just audition a few of them That's the one I end up going for. Groove 10. Drop that in. Have a listen. And then I want it to do the same again, so I'm just going to copy and paste that in here in Pro Tools. Drag it back. And there at 9, I just want to kind of pop a fill in there to go into the next section. So I'm going to fills. Not any of these would work there in context, but I'll just go and fill one. Right back to space. Cool. Uh, so the groove naturally now goes forward a touch in a normal time beat, if you have a listen. got that kind of do ga do do ga da do ga do do ga and we've got that in the normal time beats uh, it's under groove 2 
so I can drag that in there. Then it does it again. And then you can hear there I've done like an extended kind of pan muting thing. So I'm going to put two fills back to back uh, just to get this kind of technical section on the go. That one's going to work because of the way I pan muted. I went duh, duh, duh. So I'll pull that in. I will listen to that. And then it's kind of like a hang, but I can still put a roll in there. And then we're in a double time. So as my other videos, I always got the double kick beat. It's just what I like in punk rock. Uh, we do have loads of options in double time. Uh, kind of this D beat here. Double kick. More of the kind of pulley beat. And then your standard kind of Wilhelm screamy sort of thing going on. But I'm just going to go back to groove two and drag that in. And then you'll hear it come out the fill and straight in at double time. Then I can go again because it's still going fast there. It's kind of got an odd section where it jumps back. I'll show you what I mean. So it actually comes back to the first note here. So I'm going to drag a fill into this section. Put the fill 16 back in again. I'll go back in at double time. Again. Then we're ending there. I can just move that over so it's just the kick of the next section. Uh, and then we'll just listen back to what we've done. We'll view the drum kit for entertainment value. So yeah, that's it in Stephen Slate Drums 5.5. Um, check it out. Uh, you've got nothing to lose with the free version uh, and obviously our pack's up on our site for sale uh, which should get you writing songs rapid. Thanks for checking it out and see you soon. Cheers.